Hello everyone, this is Mirzai from Kalpalay Pomona and we are in part 3 of creating functions in R. In this lesson, we're trying to create a rock, paper, scissor game in R. And in this game, basically the user provide an input, which is one of the three options, rock, paper, scissor, and play with the computer. Basically, you play with a function that we create here. You put your input and based on what the computer has chosen, you have a winner or you have to redo. Okay, so let's get started and see how we can create this function. If you remember, the first thing we have to do for making a function is to define the input and output and also the name of the function. For the name of the function, I call it RPS for rock, paper, scissor. And if you remember, we said after uh, you define the name, you define the function input, and then open curly bracket, close the bracket, and uh, you're going to have some output that is going to be a return from your function. The input here is uh, one of the three words, rock, paper, scissors. So it's always a good idea to add a comment on the top to explain the user of the function what type of input they can use for this function. So the input is one of the three words, rock, paper, or scissor. Now, what is the output? The output determines the game winner. Right? So you're playing this game with the computer and at the end you're going to have a result that shows whether you win or lose or you have to redo the game. Now in this case, let's say input is X, which is one of these letters, we don't know which one it is. If the uh, computer f is fair, basically the computer have to choose its selection not based on your input but randomly, right? So I create a vector of these three possibilities, rock, paper, and scissors, and then I would choose one of these three uh, randomly for the computer. So the vector of options is going to be rock, paper, and scissors, and close the parentheses. So if I execute this command, as I see, I was able to create a vector of rock, papers, and scissors. I'm not running the function part because right now we haven't developed the process inside the function. So we have three options for the computer. The computer should randomly choose one of these three. The function that allows you to do that is called sample, sample function. So in sample function, you can say from one through three, pick one randomly. So you have a range, and then you have the number of this uh, random data point that you want to choose. I call this IDX, because that's the index that helps us to define which one of these three are chosen. So if I run this function, IDX is giving me a random number. A number. If I rerun this function and look at the IDX this time, give me two. If I rerun this function and look at the IDX, gave me three this time. If I keep running this, these number change. So it randomly choose one of these three as a random selection. So now, for example, if it's two, we know it's paper. So how do I do I define the computer selection? So I would say computer and showing, showing it with COMP is going to be options IDX because if I look at that element IDX of the vector options, I'm going to see what selection was associated with the computer. Every time look at the computer selection, you see what it is. And you can rerun this, and probably this is a different value. So randomly generating one of these three as a selection for a computer. Now that I have the computer selection and comp, and my own selection, which is an X, I can create a vector that shows these two next to each other. So, and to, to do that, I'm going to use the paste function. So paste function is going to be first I put the computer input and then I put the and and then my own selection X. So I make a string basically using the computer selection and my selection. Um, in paste function basically it prints a string and also it uses a space between each of these elements so you don't need to take into consideration extra spaces here. If I execute this line I'm going to get an error at this point because I don't have the va any value for x because x is an input and we haven't defined it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and 
suppose that my selection has been rock. Okay, so I'm going to define an input for x just for the sake of making sure this line of code execute correctly. So if I execute paste, you see that the result is scissors and rocks because scissors has been randomly selected by the computer. So if I execute comp right now, I randomly have scissors and X is the one that I just defined, which is rock. So I create a string between these two. Now, depending on what computer choose and what I choose, we have different options and different possibilities. For example, if it's scissor and rock and we always assume computer has the first input, then I'm the winner, right? Because I chose rock and computer chose scissors, so I'm going to be the winner. So I'm going to go ahead and write all the possibilities here, starting with scissors and rocks here. Just copy over this one. So one of the possibilities is scissors and rocks. Another one is scissors and paper. The next one is scissor and scissors. So these are the three possibilities, but there are six other possibilities. If we assume that we always have the computer input first and then our second, then we have three possibilities for starting with rock, where a computer chooses rock, and three possibilities when computer chooses paper. So let's go ahead and write those. So rock and paper, rock and rock, and you can have rock and scissors. So computer either chooses scissors and it's, there's three possibilities or chooses rock and there's three possibilities or chooses paper and there's three possibilities depending on what we choose right so in this case we assume that the computer selection is represented first and then our selection you can do it the other way around as well it does not matter as long as you are consistent okay so now these are the all possible scenarios that can happen, right? So the one that I've defined here, I call it B, right? So this is what uh, I chose and what computer chose in one string, and it could be one of these possibilities. I wanna identify which possibility this is going to be. To do that, first I put all these possibilities in a vector. To do that, I have to use the C function and add commas here, so all of them are represented in one vector and save it as POS as short for possibilities. Okay, so if I execute this line and look at POS, you see all the possibilities are shown in a vector. Now I want to know the one that we have chosen here, the one that we randomly defined for computer and the input from the user is which one of these possibilities. Because depending on that possibility, uh, you win, computer wins, or you have to do a redo. So B right now, if I run this uh, line and look at B, uh, it's scissors and rocks. So scissors and rocks is um, this, the first option here. So if it's scissors and rock, and we know scissors is computer and rock is you, you are the winner, right? So let's go ahead and create a vector for each of these possibilities that shows the results, basically. Yeah, I'm going to take the C out because I'm going to use another function, and I'll show you what that would be. So scissors and rocks. Who wins? You win if you're playing with the computer. If it's scissors and paper, who win? Scissors is computer, paper is you, so you can say computer wins. So you know who is the winner. Computer wins. If it's scissors and re uh, scissors, please redo, right? So you can add your messages here. If it's rock and paper, rock is the computer, paper is you, you win. If it's rock and rock, please redo. If it's rock and scissors, scissors is you, so you lose. Computer wins. Paper and paper, please redo. And paper and rock, uh, rock wins, which is you, so you win. And paper and scissors, computer wins, right? Now that I have defined all that, between these two steps, we have to do something. First, we have to identify which possibility is the one that is currently generated. Right now we know it's one, but when this happens automatically, there should be a mechanism. The function that we're gonna use is called match. So I can say match this vector with this ele element. So basically you're finding this element in this vector. If I run match function, it says one. It means that the first element of this vector is matching with this. But remember, B is every time changing based on the random number that is selected by computer. So if I rerun this uh, IDX and comp line and look at 
the B this time is not going to be the same. It's going to be a rock and rock because this element is continuously changing based on random numbers. So rock and rock. Now if I match rock and rock with this, we expect to see one, two, three, four, fifth element. So let's go ahead and do that. If I do, you see the fifth element is the result of match. We're trying to find this vector in this whole array. So I call this D. So D is um, the element that saves the number that we found here. Now, the next thing we want to do is based on the element that we define here, we want to pop up some messages out here. So for example, if your element five, what is the result? One, two, three, four, five. Please redo, right? So you want to, you have rock and rock, so you don't have a winner. You want to do redo. The function that I'm going to use here is called switch. Switch, what it does, based on the elements that I put in here, is going to show the message. So if I say switch of five and all these elements, it's going to count and uh, generate the fifth element here. So let's go ahead and do that exercise. We know that D is equal to five, and the fifth element is please redo. Uh, so let's ex execute this one. And if I look at the results, you see rock and rock, please redo. Now what I want at the end here is to return the output from the function, which in this case is the results, right? So you want to make sure that return comes back uh, from your function. So return, you want to return the result. Right now, it doesn't give you any uh, output because it, it needs to be associated to some sort of function. So now we have completed our rock, paper, scissor game. So if I look at the overall structure, what we did, we first gave a name to this function and we defined the input. Input should be rock, paper, or scissors, and it should be as a text, so it should be inside quotation. If you want to add that to your comments, you can go ahead and do that. Then what you did, we defined the options. We generated a random number between 1 to 3, and look at that elements in this vector. So if IDX, for example, the random number in this case is go ahead and execute it is 2 is going to gen uh, go ahead and takes option and vector options uh, element number 2 which is paper and save it in a variable com then create a string with our input whatever it is and the random uh, options selected by the computer so for example x could be anything i can put x this time as paper um, and don't forget to put it in quotations. Now, if I look at pasting B, it's going to be printing the computer value and my value and look at vector B. What happens is I have paper and paper. So paper and paper is option number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here. Option 7 results to what? So if you do the matching between B and this vector, D is 7, is going to go and switch over D and generate uh, element number 7, which is please redo, and then return the result. So I'm going to go ahead and run the whole function here and play the game. So RPS is the name of the function. I'm going to type in here RPS and put the input that I want. For example, rock. So enter. Paper and rock. It means that computer chose paper and you chose rock, and I won. Now if I choose anything else here, for example, scissors, and this time, the value that computer choose, chooses is rock, and I chose scissors, computer wins. And say rock, and computer wins, paper. This time I put scissors, paper and scissors, you win. So because you're scissors and computer's paper. All right, with that, our lesson has concluded. Please refer to your blackboards for your assignments. Thank you.